Dear Mr. Baxter, I'm writing this letter asking for your help, as I know your reputation in the mystical realm goes before you. You see, I have suffered from persistent haunting dreams throughout my life, and I would like to have the answers to my questions at last, as I feel that my life is coming to an end. I always dream of walking through a courtyard that is adorned with a beautiful but terrifying child-faced fountain. Dark spirits begin to haunt me as I enter a castle. The woman's voice, unrecognizable to me, but certain to have been heard before. She is screaming at me to get out of this place of terror. I'm not sure if you can find out which castle, but I'd be very grateful if you could find out the truth about my dreams, which have plagued me for 45 years. Please, Mr. Samuel, help a poor woman at the end of her days to discover the truth about her dreams and her past, for I'm sure this castle does exist, and I sense it has something to do with me. With gratitude, Eleanor Smith. She was of poor circumstances, but in demeanor she gave the impression of noble birth and those beautiful eyes, one green and the other blue. I remember the book about famous families in the United Kingdom. The Eldritch family had the same genetic defect. The castle they occupied is the only one that had the fountain from Eleanor's dream in the courtyard. Eldridge Hall. This castle was abandoned in 1735. The circumstances of the abandonment were highly mysterious. I have the note from the family book, but not the oil for the long term. It's almost empty.
throughout my long life. Many strange things have happened to me, and many dark things have come my way. But the worst of all were the stone beings that inhabited the haunted castle that houses my prison and orphanage. The Baron's confidant, Kurt Baxter.
I'm new to the form of these creatures that toil in the cursed wing. However, I have been able to find out some information. They have a total of three victims of the servants on their conscience. In the words of James Eldridge, these three servants had been very strange in their behavior. They often went into the archives at night and locked the door behind them. There was always a banging noise. From the garden, it is evident that the servants have boarded up all the windows in the archive. And my conclusion is that this dark creature or creatures are afraid of the light. I will examine the wing today, but must be sure to have enough oil, for these creatures are inactive in light, but extinguish the lantern and you die within seconds. The first time I ran out of oil and they tried to drain my life force. Um, but since I'm not exactly human, I was able to get out of the archives just by being at the entrance. How long have I stayed? Five years, 10, 20, 50. I do know them, whispering angels. One touch from this being will suck the life out of you. But since I can't die, they have an endless supply of life energy. I cannot leave this wing because I'm so weak that I can barely move. It's impossible to go out because the angels won't let me, and I don't have the strength to remove the shuddering from the windows. I wish that I would die as soon as I left Ostersee it is a curse to be such a damned being. All these years of starving and having my life drained away by the angels, I am practically desiccated. When I fled the manor years ago from that bitch Kellner who had taken me into the forest and abused me since I was young, I should have refused Vladimir's offer. Had I refused Vladimir's offer, I could have died in the forest and joined my grandfather in the afterlife. Had I known that I would be rotting in an underground prison, watching over those poor children who were the victims of Vladimir's brutal tortures, I would have preferred death.
taken me, I opened the Black Mirror. Together with my most faithful friend, my dear daughter, who paid for this with her life. Both William Eldridge and I saw the folly of our actions too late. Awakening Black Mirror's vast power was inevitable, but it came too late. Therefore the dark creatures of the Whispering Realm remain in this castle and continue to grow. They have come from the other side of the Black Mirror. My most trusted friend, Horace, was able to close the mirror when I died. But William had no one left to close it. The angels got into the castle. His family paid a heavy toll, along with some of his servants. Find three soul shells in the shaman's realm and place them on the altar beside the Black Mirror. Stopping the whispering angels and their ectoplasm from escaping is the only way to close the Black Mirror. Thinking that this would weaken the mirror, William desperately took the soul shells. However, he was wrong. Bring three of the soul shells to the altar by the Black Mirror, and I'll take care of the rest for you.
Once again, let me help you move for your clothes to the black mirror.